Okay, so we start at the end. And I'm here to present my project that I'm doing as part of Comedia Mexico. And of course, with my university, La Universidad Autónoma de Aguascalientes. With El Centro de las Artes y Cultura, project is Memories on Wheels, the evolution of ancient and classic automobile in Aguascalientes. Aguascalientes is one of a historical archive in Wikimedia. And I am with association with the Association of Antique uh, Cars from Aguascalientes and La Federación Mexicana de Automóviles, Antiguos y de Colección, La FEMAC, uh, is the Federation, the Mexican Federation of Antique and Collection Cars. So let me, let me start, I'll make it. Um, while I start this project, well, I have always been my grandfather. My grandfather has been my inspiration all life. He's actually a, a anti car collector. So I can say that I literally grew up with anti cars. You can see me, there's a little photo of me. So for me, anti-cars are raised with this type of, of cars. So, so I always love to be near them and just be with them. So the thing, on why is the problem here? Well, um, right now I'm first thing I'm studying currently a, a career named Estudios del Arte y Gestión Cultural. That in English is a study. And we need to do a thesis. And with the thesis, I, I want to make the story of this type of course in my state. So I start searching. And you know, looking for all the information, and I saw a, a problem that there is not archive at all of this type of cars here in my state. It's the anti cars are such an important thing. We have a lot of events in all the year. The rate of antique and classical cars, but they don't have an archive at at all. I was like, why is not an archive? So, like I already say, I'm doing my social service with Wikimedia Hive with Wikimedia Mexico. And Wikimedia Commons. So that's why I start the, the archive. Now the made here with empty cars, but we don't have the archive that everyone can access, no? The archive was only on all the persons that were in the, in the event, of course. So I start. But how I started making the archive? Well, it was a lot first of investigation to see who have the photos. Uh, and we have a lot of, you need to pass this antique photos to be digital, to be in Wikimedia Commons. So it was a lot of uh, category in Wikimedia Commons, uh, you can search it. It's not as automóviles clásicos y antiguos en Aguascalientes. 
this is live right now. How is the page right now? Do this category and things that are here in in my state here in Aguascalientes. So you can we have twenty subcategories, and this is all the events that we have here in in my state in Aguascalientes. And you can see there's there's a lot, no. Oh, and and that's the first like the first step. Then we add create a Flickr. Why a Flickr? You're going to ask. The problem with the photo is that I didn't take the photos. Of course, like I already told you, there's a lot of antique photos that we don't even know who is of the photo. Of course. So we can create a flicker with the permission of the association with the name Association del Automóvil Antiguo de Aguascalientes. So all the photos here are part of the archive of the own archive of the association. So we can avoid all our problems at all because we have a lot of photos that we don't know. Where is the year the, the person who took the photo? So we create this flicker, you know, to do not have problems say, with all the outer problems. Like I can show you, for example, cool. these photos are from the United States. These photos are like from 1965, 1917. There are we don't know who to take the photos, but you can see they are they are pretty old. So that's why we create a flicker with the name of the photos, you know. And then uh, for example, this is a sample of photo that is a really, really antique photo. This photo is like from third about this photo. We know it's in the center in our state. And the car you see here is the first car that arrived. My state here in Mexico is in the central part of Mexico. It's a really, really little state, but it's in the central part of Mexico. So here is where all the concentrations of terrain Um, are no, there's a great state for the trains and all this stuff. So, all the things that come from the United States and there is the United States and you know, this car is a French car that come to our states. This car is to is from 19 part of the historical part of our state, but this is a photo line. Example of the photos that we have on, on there. And and that was the issue to, you know, to put the photos of Flickr to Wikimedia Commons. There's uh, a lot of photos right now. We have um, uh, 600, it 52 photos once is going to be a little bit difficult so we do it with this tool that is called Flickr to commons this is our great tool and let me transition a lot of photos from Flickr to commons a little bit of problem with this one is for example that you can put the category so we need to do another thing you now. We will load it, this photo, to put the correct category I use this tool, the catalog. The catalog is helped me a lot to categorize a, a group of lots of, of photographies. So it was just 
delightful to use the catalog as well. So this is the thing uh, I'm going to do. We can fit, well, an archive is never finished at all because all the things you, you do is part of the story at all, no? So it's part of the history. So this archive is going to grow more and more and more because when um, I'm presenting in the last days of October, uh, this, this archive because it's going to celebrate the 35 years of the association. So all the associations to all the peasants there to start collaborate. And this collective archive was the best option to, to do this archive. At all. Because Commons is a great tool a great uh, platform that all persons can edit, all persons can create even the category, and it's so easy to to use it. That way to to make this archive a digital archive. that all persons can access with any issue at all. And it will and it's really grateful. It really is because here in the association of the Anticars, mostly all persons are old persons. They are yes, old. So they have problems sometimes media commons for them is pretty pretty Easy to use it. So, so for me, this is like a perfect platform to to create this archive, and I was very happy to do it. Like I already saying, like this archive is not finished at all. And right now we have um, I said that it was in nineteen eighty nine, but literally all the photos and. videos also oh, that you know it's pretty hard that's why we are not finished that this is what I'm doing right now like a right and I can say this is not my last archive I want to create more more archives with Wikimedia Commons because uh Wikimedia Commons or all the Wikimedia uh Platform just change changed my life and the Wikimedia platforms in 2021. Uh, thanks to one teacher from my college, Dr. Luis Alvarez. Uh, he introduced me to this beautiful world, world of Wikimedia platforms at all. Even though that this is my last month in the social service with Wikimedia Mexico, I'm going to still, you know, uh, doing applications to Wikimedia and, and Wikipedia. So for me, this was such a pleasure to, to do. And for me, I think it's such a, a great, great um, job that all the editors are doing in Wikimedia platforms because we are sharing with all world free knowledge and the using of these platforms are just amazing. You know, I'm more like a person. I mean, the teachers told me 
do not use Wikipedia to to do your your homework because it's not a safe platform. And now that I'm here editing Wikipedia and Wikimedia, the editors do to create the articles and it's just fantastic. Fantastic. So that's the main objective of my of my project. Like this is not I put the examples of the photos. And photos that we have. And you can see the category is automobiles clásicos and the Ocean Aguascalientes and chats of the wiki conference of North America. I can send it so if you want my, my part. Thank you like a lot to, to hear me and I'm so shame about the internet. Probably yeah, in any Wikimedia platform with my user page is for five. My email is This one, and this is my cell phone. Any suggestion on how I can improve this archive? It would be and that's so. Thank you. Thank you, Fernanda. I think even with the slight problems with the internet and the sound, we were able to, to hear and understand pretty much um, your, your presentation. Um, we will open the floor for some questions and we have some questions in here. So if you're keen to take them. Yeah, hi. Um, I hope you can send a, uh, uh, a full audio version. We could see perfectly, but not hear perfectly always. I was curious if you worked very much on the articles, uh, the text about these antique automobiles. Oh, yes, indeed I, I do. I do uh, edit these articles and encourage These articles, first mail and federations from here from Mexico, because of before me they don't have any at all in Wikipedia, and we already talked with this. Uh, real importance of encyclopedic importance. So yes, and articles. And I'm part of a project in Wikimedia that is Wikipedia that is called all a cars project. So I go over and see the archive is not finished. And we're going to create another category, for example. We want to create, well, I want to models and brands of the cars, you know, to put, I don't know, whole. Ford and Ford just are uh, Lincoln, Crown Victoria, and all these subcategories. So, oh, yes, I'm pretty, pretty in about this antique and classic cars in Wikipedia and Wikimedia. I'm actually part of this association and the federation. So, all the information that are there are parts and are evaluated by the Federation, the Association National Federation of Ancient Vehicles. So, the Well, thank you. The joy comes through. And the images come through. Is there any other question? Yeah. 
Okay. Well, thank you. My name is Peter, and, and thank you for presenting in this short way. Uh, where we are here, it's time for lunch. So thank you.